Hi, I'm Brenda August. This program is brought to you by the Community Outreach Committee of the City of Bowie. Today's program is about the Bowie Senior Center. The Bowie Senior Center is one of the most dynamic and active facilities in the city of Bowie. Uh, how, what is the impact of the Senior Center on Bowie? I think obviously it's great. Um, one of the things that uh, people notice about the city is we're, we're really conscious about not only the present but the future of the city. Uh, and we're trying to be as many things as we can be to all our, all our residents. Uh, if you look at the demographics of the city, about 25% of our population is over 65. And about 25% is under 25. So there's a little bit of a, a, an incredible, almost, it's not tension, but there's different focus and different things. But uh, for the longest time, the seniors would, were meeting in an old room up at the old city hall. And it, it was, was barely adequate for the needs. So we sat down and talked about what we needed for the future and, and how, how we could come up with a process, uh, come up with some kind of an option. So we, we interviewed all of the seniors we could find, just asked them, so what, what, you know, if, basically if money's not an object and engineering's not an object, what do you think a senior center should be? And the folks that were going to use it came up with great ideas. Uh, I had one gentleman tell me it wouldn't be acceptable unless there was an Olympic pool. And a lady told me it wouldn't be acceptable unless the, the food service area would seat a thousand people. And I, I said, my gut reaction is you two are going to be disappointed. But I just took all, we took all the ideas that the, the seniors had about what they would like to see in the facility. And we just took them to an architect and said, can you build this and what would it cost? And the architects looked at the design, looked at the, the interest, and they came up with this design. You know, where you walk into that incredibly welcoming foyer and through the atrium, and the first thing you do is walk into the food service and, uh, and entertainment area. If you turn to the right, everything that's stereotypical to a senior center is there. You know, there's arts and crafts and music, um, ceramics, uh, pool tables, where we go back there and i got to make sure that the old guys aren't, aren't gambling on the pool table. Um, if you turn to the left, it's mostly health and, and intellectual retention and development. Where there's there's um, uh, physical exercises and, and, and health maintenance and screenings, and uh, uh, there's there's a library and a TV room and a room where you can just sit and talk. Uh, there's card rooms. There's three three um, uh, computer labs. There's four classrooms. You come in here on any day, and there'll be a class going on and. In, in Spanish, maybe a class going on in Italian, maybe a class going on in theater arts. It is so incredible and what it's done is it, it matches the enthusiasm and the joy for life that the people in this building have. Uh, I often say that it's one thing for people like us to stack the bricks and put the building up, but the people that use this facility have animated it far beyond I think anybody's expectations. Uh, I laugh sometimes about, you know, this being a party building, because every time I come over here, there's something going on, there's some activity going on, and uh, the staff that run the place, I mean, they're just incredibly professional and committed and keep things going. Um, I think maybe, maybe the gym has more visitors during the year, but I don't think there's a, a facility in the city that's more animated than the, than the Bowie Senior Center. Um, I get visitors from all over the state coming over here. I get mayors from all over the states coming over and say, "How'd you do this? Uh, you know, can I borrow your copies?" <laughs> um, and then so it's not only a place to visit, but I mean it's now nationally certified as one of the. I think there's only two, two, two or three of these senior facilities in the entire state of Maryland that are, are certified, you know, by that national regulatory bodies about quality of service and quantity of service and professionalism of service and the use by the, by the resident community. Uh, I couldn't be more pleased with the way this has turned out. You know, this is, uh, this is going to be here forever, I hope. And, uh, you know, every year we get a new batch of people that become members. And I've seen some of them are a little reluctant when they come in, a little shy. Uh, but in a matter of weeks, they're on a committee. You know, they're, they're making ceramic projects, they're joining the, the, the course, you know, which is another treasure in the city that people, some people don't realize is 
is the is the choral group that works out of here. Um, they put on performances all all, all year long, uh, and they're at programs and events here in the uh, uh, center. Uh, and it just like I say, I'm just pleased when I just come in and sit back and watch the folks here. Uh, you see the smiles come in, brought all the way across the face. And it's not just a smile that I'm here. It's a smile that I'm happy. Uh, life is good, and I'm here with friends and people that share views and experiences and, uh, you know, and hopes for the future. We all sit down and we all talk about our grandchildren and, you know, how amazed we are that our children have raised such beautiful grandchildren. <laughs> you know, when I sit down with city council and whatever, we'll try to start working on budget issues and stuff like that. Um, you know, in the real world, people forget, this is a very expensive operation to keep going. But uh, I have never, I don't recall ever having council walk at uh, funding the program because they see it as um, not only helpful and desirable, but incredibly reasonable. This is really what Bowie's all about. Uh, we want to make sure that people that decide to move here at whatever stage of their life are happy with that decision. And what you'll see in this building is a lot of the people in this building are some of the original folks that moved into the Levitt buoy when it really started out in the 60s. And those, that, I, I've said this before, those are the people that, that converted a development into a community. And a lot of those folks are here. And they're running this place. Uh, so they've got a lot to be proud of. They've got a great legacy. And this is going to be a great legacy, I think, for, for generations to come. You know, if we can just keep it up and keep the folks, you know, coming in. Uh, you know, I look at the activities there, everything from medical support to, you know, to classes to discussions on things that make people uh, just pleased to be in the greatest community in the state of Maryland. I tell them, my big brag is Bowie is the strongest, most diverse, most family-friendly community in the region. And this is just an example of it. Uh, I'm just proud to call this place part of Bowie. Uh, a lot of people worked hard to get it done. A lot of people worked hard to animate it into the uh, incredible facility that it is. And the future here is just limited by our imagination. What we'd like to do is just a matter of just finding what we want to do and then find a way to get there. Uh, so if I have one bit of advice to anybody that lives in Bowie that's over 55, if you haven't been here, you don't know what you're missing. Come on down. Thank you. There's a lot to be said about a facility whose motto is the place where the nicest people meet. That's the motto of the Bowie Senior Center. And we're very happy today to have the manager of that center with us. Kathy White, welcome. Thank you. How are you today? I'm great. That's good, and we're very excited about the information that you're going to give us on this very famous and fabulous Senior Center. Uh, let's talk about the, 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 the Senior Center and what is the mission and the goal of the Senior Center? Why is it here? Well, the mission of the Senior Center is, the mission of the Bowie Senior Center is to serve, support, and enhance the lives of seniors 55 years and older by providing programs and services that promote active, independent, and healthy lifestyles. Wonderful mission. Wonderful mission and much needed in the city of Bowie. Absolutely. Now that we have, uh, well nationally we have a growing senior population and there's a great need for facilities like the Bowie Senior Center. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how long has the Bowie Senior Center been around? When was it established and how long has it been in its present location? The center was established in um, 1977 and they were housed here at the Ken Hill Center. Uh, maybe had a couple rooms and, and they had exercise in the, uh, the big auditorium. And um, until the year 2000, when a committee was formed and uh, led by Mr. Pierce um, and many, many community leaders, seniors, um, where they, they created the Bowie Senior Center, which is now located at 
um, 14900 Health Center Drive. So when was that, when was that uh, establishment um, opened? Uh, in in uh, June of 2000. So it's relatively new. About 14 mm -hmm. years yes, now. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. And tell me about um, some of the programs and services that take place at the Bowie Senior Center. Well, the, the programs are varied and uh, we, we strive to bring uh, services that are energetic. Our philosophy is a, a healthy body, mind, and spirit. So we encompass that um, that around the programs we offer. So there's there's many exercise programs and there's um, support groups. Uh, there's classes through the community college and there are classes also um, through uh, the center. Some of the other services we offer, we offer lunch Monday through Friday. Um, we offer uh, support groups, ma many support groups, various um, programs such as uh, the diabetes support group, the uh, Parkinson's support group. Uh, we have uh, grief counseling support. We have um, social, so, uh, the senior social, um, sorry, okay. start over. <laughs> the senior social, uh, social lights, they meet once a month and, and uh, come together, they play games, they may go out to eat lunch. Uh, there's uh, the writer's group. You know, Kathy, the support groups, uh, that, that, um, that's very interesting uh, and uh, it's very important that that's provided to seniors because mm -hmm. many times there are health issues that seniors have and uh, they uh, feel quite alone mm -hmm. and, and really need support in determining how to cope with those health issues. Mm -hmm. And the support groups that you're providing, the ones that you mentioned, uh, uh, probably help them get through. True, that's, um, that's just to name a few, but mm -hmm. uh, there, there are um, programs such as uh, the Corral, um, there's uh, other programs which offer uh, the Computer Center, mm -hmm. which offers many computer classes. We have volunteers um, uh, who, who work very hard to, to make the center what it is. Um, so there's, there's, a, there's a lot to be said about uh, what goes on behind the scenes. And um, we, we just are so proud to be, and we have a passion for senior services. Our, our, my staff, they're wonderful. They, um, they give 100%, if not 150%. Yes. And um, our expectation is to really, really brighten the lives of seniors and provide the transportation services, the nutrition lunch, the, um, the opportunity to grow and become part of the community, to volunteer. Uh, it's all critical to um, to longevity. I, 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 is your is your um, computer class or are your computer classes very popular? They are very popular. They've been around um, since the center opened. The computer center has been there. We have a wonderful, dedicated uh, array of volunteers, uh, volunteer instructors. We have volunteers to to assist the instructors, and uh, they offer from beginning computers to Word. We offer Facebook classes. We've offered many um, classes that we're open on Wednesdays, uh, just for seniors to just, you know, the computer center is open on Wednesday just so seniors can come in and uh, ask questions, get on the computers, and, and um, learn to navigate the, 
the, uh, the areas they want to go to, there's somebody there to ask questions to. I've heard that so, some seniors say that, that uh, they're motivated to, to learn about the computer, to become computer literate, uh, because of their grandchildren. It's a way to keep up with their, with their grandchildren, keep in communication yes. with their grandchildren. Mm -hmm. So that's quite a motivating factor. And uh, so that's why I was wondering about the popularity of it. It's very yes. popular. We have, we have seniors who, who have their tablets, um, their iPhones, they, they have their um, uh, the smartphones, they have the iPads. They walk around the center outside, the wonderful, beautiful grounds of the center with their, their iPads with music playing. And um, it is just a wonderful place to grow and make friends. And what about those classes those, that, that involve um, uh, movement? You know, I've seen uh, some, of the, some of the seniors involved in, in Tai Chi and dance and line dancing, Kathy. I, I, maybe, maybe that's a class that, that, that I should take the line dancing, dancing <laughs> class because I've been, you know, I, I enjoy watching right. line dancing, but uh, maybe I should get involved. I think you should. <laughs> We, when a person comes to the center to, um, to join, and sometimes it's a mother-daughter, and uh, we give a tour, we end up getting the mom and the daughter, <laughs> because the daughter's 55, and she says, well, I'm going to join right with my mom. I can, you know, I can go on trips, I can join in uh, exercise programs with her. I can be, you know, part of her life here at the center. So, so many times that happens. They, you don't know, you don't, you can't really grasp the, the whole concept of the center unless you walk in the door. And once you walk in that door, there's an energy, a synergy that just grabs you. Yes. And it makes you smile. There's a hustle and bustle uh, that we, I would have never thought that we would have had parking problems. <laughs> <laughs> and we do. And so these are, you know, some of the challenges that we have with growth. But the city of Bowie supports senior services, always have. And um, they, they see what comes out of the center and how we impact lives. And, and the center is and always should be, the uh, senior center should be a, cr a critical link to seniors in the community. And um, we try our best to get out there and um, show folks exactly who we are. We're not that little old senior center in the corner <laughs> anymore. We are, um, we have 2,700 members. Wow. We average about two to 300 on a daily basis. Um, there's something always going on. We have a wonderful fitness room. Um, uh, Mark Shields offers a few classes in uh, walk aerobics and strength. He does the orientations to the fitness room. Um, if you live in the city of Bowie, uh, you, you pay $5 for an orientation to the fitness room. Um, but to join the center, there isn't a fee for anyone, uh, no matter where you live. Oh, okay. But um, you need to be 55 and independent in your daily activities, able to function on your own and join in and, and grow. Um, How old is your oldest member, do you know? Oh my, we have a person who comes every Friday and she attends the bridge class and oh. she is 100 years old. A bridge player at 100, wonderful. And I'm thinking, I think I better pick bridge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that brings longevity to some of us. <laughs> Keeps the brain going. Yes. Right, yes. right. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Now I understand that you have a very big partnership with Prince George's, uh, County, Prince George's County Community College. Tell me about that partnership. Well, the, the community college, it's, it's called SAGE, 
and it's senior adults growing educationally. And this partnership has been a wonderful partnership through the years. Um, we even had uh, the community college provide classes over at Ken Hill Center when we were there. The, the college is it's, it's a federally funded program, so you must be 60 years of age or older. And you, um, you, there's three sessions. So you, you pay, I think it's $75, mm -hmm. and you can take as many classes as you want as long as they don't conflict with your schedule. So uh, we have over 70 classes through wow. the college. Wow. And we're the host. The Bowie Senior Center is the host. The college sends the teachers to us. Fantastic. So, so the, the classes are at the center. At the center. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they, um, they, they range from literature, um, music appreciation, languages, Spanish, French, Italian, wow. German. Uh, we were amazed. Uh, we recently brought in an Italian um, class and the teacher just came to us one day and she said, I would love to teach Italian. We sent her to the community college. They hired her. Yeah. And her first class, she had 22 students. Fill the room. Fill the room. <laughs> Fill the room. My and this is, this is a wonderful challenge that we have um, in many of our classes because they're so popular. Uh, our teachers are so professional and they come with with wonderful skills, teaching skills. Um, and those classes actually change lives yes. and impact lives to where folks are making stained glass and selling them. Um, piano appreciation, folks are writing their own music. And, and, and um, just such a Positive. One of the teachers said to me the other day, and it was um, Dr. Choi who teaches our um, music appreciation. He said, the students learn. They're so hungry to learn. But he says, something happens within that class and, and it reaches the soul. Wow. So it does. Everything impacts a person's life in one way or another, whether it's physical or emotional, and they, it offers strength and um, conversation and joy, and that's what it's all about. What a fantastic operation. What a fantastic operation. I, I, I understand that you also have uh, transportation for seniors who are not able to drive to the center. Yes, we Now, do. how does that work, mm -hmm. Kathy? Well, a person who would like to um, use our transportation must call. Uh, it's like 24 to 48 hours in advance. Mm -hmm. And we encourage and, and um, require uh, those folks to uh, fill out a membership form so we have emergency information and, and telephone numbers on each person that rides our bus. Uh, they, they, um, they can, we do medical, medical transportation, we shopping, we offer, um, we do homebound meals. You do. Uh, that's through uh, the Area Agency on Aging, another mm -hmm. partner, a wonderful partner, mm -hmm. who not only provides our nutrition lunch through the nutrition program, but also the homebound meals through, so those folks who are homebound, can, um, our bus drivers deliver a meal to them uh, and what they do, if a person wants a homebound meal, they would call the Area Agency on Aging and um, request a meal. The Area Agency on Aging Nutrition Program will start the process and then inform um, our transportation service that there's a new person to be added to our delivery. And our bus drivers deliver the homebound meals. Wonderful. Um, transportation has grown through the years. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we are very busy and we offer shuttle service. 
um, from the senior center to the shopping centers within Bowie, we do limit our transportation to the city of Bowie. Okay. So you must live in the city of Bowie to use the transportation. And um, the cost is amazing. There is a fee of 50 cents round trip. So it's a oh, dollar that's a, bargain. a trip <laughs> to, that's a bargain. to use our transportation. Great. So there, there's a lot more to our transportation service. We, off, we also take folks who are on dialysis to, mm -hmm. um, to their appointments, dialysis services. So there's, there's a lot to our transportation service. And, and um, the scheduling is, you know, it, it sometimes can be a challenge. Yes, I can and, imagine. And so we can't always deviate from our schedule to add add, um, you know, walk-in person. So mm -hmm. it's very important to um, call and make an appointment for our transportation. And what about the congregate meals, the meals that you have there at the center? How does that, how does that work? Well, that, um, that is the nutrition program, mm -hmm. and that's through the Area Agency on Aging. And um, the meals cost $5, a little over $5, and there's a donation of $2.75 that um, is requested. And the meals are catered by Meals on Wheels. Okay. So the meals come in in bulk. And we have a wonderful nutrition site manager, Diane Clemens, who co coordinates the volunteers, trains them, and also um, serves the meals uh, on Monday through Friday. Okay. And, and so can a person just walk in and, and, and get a meal uh, during, during the well, midday? Well, sometimes, okay. but it's very important to make a, um, a, a reservation, which is 24 to 48 hours in advance. Okay. And uh, the, you, they are welcome to come into the center um, and go to the front desk in the dining room, which is uh, manned by Barbara Talbert who is a senior aide through Area Agency on Aging. Um, and uh, she will reserve your lunch for them, for Great. you. Great. Great. Mm -hmm. Now, are you, um, do you have an, an oversight body of, or an advisory body or board of directors? Is there a group that, that uh, advises you on, on the operation of the center? Absolutely. And they are wonderful. We have um, advisory board that that actually uh, every year there's three that there's nine persons on the advisory board. Um, every year there's three that may be going off, and then we offer it, you know, offer it out to anybody who might want to um, to sit on the advisory board. They must be uh, members of the center for at least six months mm -hmm. and live in the city of Bowie. And the, at, we meet once a month. It's the first Tuesday of each month. And uh, we, they, they are a support system to, to me, um, to the members. And uh, they can bring, members can go to any of the advisory board members and, and um, offer suggestions or, or complaints or um, even, even if they have an observation, the, you know, the board members can come to the, the meeting or come to me at any time and, um, and voice that observation or suggestion. Um, they are, are currently very busy um, with our accreditation. And so uh, they do have other duties as assigned. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, they, they, are, they represent um, at uh, some special events. Um, they are volunteers. They come with all wonderful backgrounds and skills um, and just help me make the center better. I understand that that um, that since the 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 the, um, the 
Bowie Senior Center has been in existence, there are a number of changes, very positive changes that have occurred. What are some of the things that you've seen that have developed over, over the past few years? I think in, uh, in the early years, we saw that the, the back of the Senior Center needed a little sprucing up. Mm -hmm. So um, the previous man manager, Marilyn Milio, and I was the assistant manager, we went out and purchased a gazebo. Oh. And the gazebo um, brought this beautiful um, uh, nature sense to the back of the, the building. The building is so beautiful and the grounds are well kept by the city of Bowie um, public grounds. And um, so, so with the gazebo came a beautiful garden and walkways. And then um, in the back of the uh, gazebo, you will find a bocce ball court. Mm -hmm. That was um, uh, the Lions Club of Bowie helped to donate um, and, and to get that bocce ball, ball court and the horseshoe pit um, going. And so, so the gazebo, the bocce ball court is used from summer to fall. Mm. And, um, and then if you come inside, we have wonderful partnerships with organizations within the city of Bowie and the Knights of Columbus um, uh, donated a shuffleboard table and we have shuffleboard tournaments during the winter and spring. So they're gearing down right now with the, um, the shuffleboard the shuffleboard tournaments and getting gearing up for the bocce ball tournaments. And there's usually 14, 14 or 15 teams, teams. so, so wow. that participate in these tournaments. And they're all organized and well run by volunteers. Uh, as you go around the building, um, around on the other side, we felt with our, our philosophy, a, a healthy body, mind, and spirit. Beautiful philosophy. We thought that we would put in a labyrinth. Okay. And the labyrinth is, is, is just a wonderful way to become one with nature. And we have a brochure and we do have classes and we know enough about the labyrinth that anybody who has questions on what to do and what the benefits are, we, have, um, we can answer that as well. And uh, so, so those are just a, some of the, the um, wonderful things that have happened. Then came the addition of the corral. The Bowie and Senior Corral. The Bowie Senior Corral uh, started out many years ago, uh, maybe 11 years ago, I think. Yes, about 11 years. Mm -hmm. and, um, and grew from 30 some people to 110 people. <laughs> And if you have not heard the Senior Chorale perform, and, um, either at the Center or at the Performing Arts Center in Bowie, it's like going to the Kennedy Center. It just raises those little hairs right <laughs> on the back of your neck, and I am so proud. I am like a proud mama yes. when, when I see the things that have um, evolved through the years and, and um, uh, how, what an impact it has on, on people's lives. Uh, the other thing is the accreditation. Almost five years ago, we were accredited through the National Institute of Senior Centers, National Council on Aging, and it is, a, it is a long process. We have to meet nine of the standards that is set forth by um, the National Council on Aging, the National Institute of Senior Centers, and we did five years ago. Congratulations to you. Thank you. And we're currently going through that again. Yes. And we hope to become accredited again um, in, in uh, the fall. Um, I'm pretty sure the process will be over by then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my staff and our volunteers, we have a committee of um, representatives from businesses and community leaders and um, the advisory board. They're working very hard to um, uh, bring the standards up so we can become accredited again. 
Very good, very good. You know, a successful agency is truly reflective of its leadership. And you have quite an outstanding and distinctive record as having led this agent, this, this, this facility, mm -hmm. to uh, successful levels. So um, I'd like to know, and I think our readers would like to know, about your vision for this, mm -hmm. for this uh, facility. Where do you see it going in the next few years, and what would you like to see? There, there's been some wonderful challenges that have um, come about. Uh, our growth is one. Uh, our challenge is to, to um, have enough room to, to let, you know, <laughs> all of the folks who want to take these classes in. Uh, sometimes there's 45 students in a class. Mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, those are, those are wonderful. Um, um, that it's attributed to my staff and the programs, and, and we're not just the little senior center. Mm -hmm. We like to step out of the box, yes. and we like to shake it up. Yes. Um, <laughs> we also like to party over there. <laughs> but um, my vision is to continue to provide quality programs and services to um, the community of Bowie, um, to the seniors, to promote the, the, um, the health and um, um, wonderful programs and, and, and services further out, reaching old Bowie maybe, getting, getting those folks more involved in the center. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'd like to see, see us grow in, in, in our outreach. Uh, uh, I think it's important that um, when somebody comes in, she's. Oh, I lived in Bowie for 11 years, and I didn't know this place was here. So there's something to that. Yes. And I, I want to. Uh, my vision is to, to hope that nobody ever, ha you know, has to say that. I, I want to be sure that we're getting out there to the folks. Um, I, I think that we want technology. We want to bring the center up to, you know, what, whatever technology that is out there. Uh, I know the challenge is that technology, once it comes out, it's, it's obsolete almost. Yeah. Um, but we have a wonderful computer center. I, I envision that, you know, upgrading and, and, and um, going towards what the seniors want, you know, what uh, we do a survey and we want to ask them what they want. It's not a, all about what I want, it's what, what, what they do want. they want. What do the, the seniors, uh, you know, the, who are living here in Bowie, what do they want for their future? If there's, if it's something that I haven't reached, a goal that, you know, or a vision that they see, I would like to know about that because there, it's for them, it's for the community, and and the community, you know, needs to let me know. We do evaluations on classes uh, every semester. Laurel Raymond, my my sidekick, my wonderful <laughs> right hand woman, she is she puts those uh, evaluations and and surveys out to um, to the members. And, and the community needs, you know, just to let me know. If you have suggestions, I can, I can dream and I can vision, um, but they're my visions and my dreams. Um, and not that they're not, you know, appropriate or good. They probably are. But I think I'm working for the folks who attend the center, the folks in the community. So I really do want to... Um, uh, get their their vision. For those persons who are interested in just coming by and looking at some of the activities that take place there, tell us exactly where it is, where the Bowie Senior Center is, and can they just walk in and look around? Well, yes, um, they can walk in and uh, we have our wonderful staff and volunteers who will give a tour. Uh, we have Gloria Gaddy who, who is our information service 
a specialist and if you're looking for resources or services she's wonderful yes uh, she's high energy I think we're all <laughs> high energy uh, and I don't drink coffee but boy <laughs> we have a lot of energy there and and it's all positive all positive energy um, my volunteers at the front desk our volunteers are um, a receptionist at the front desk they they provide volunteer service in in the um, the kitchen our library oh my goodness if you haven't been to our library it's a wonderful place to just sit relax and read a mm -hmm. book all the books are donated you walk in you get the books that you want and then you bring them back when you're finished or you can just sit there and read a book um, I did want to mention that we do a lot for uh, our veterans. Uh, we do. We work very closely with uh, the VFW Post, the okay, okay. VFW Post, uh, Mary and May, and um, we offer the the veterans program in November. We lay a hundred wreaths on on um, the graves of uh, veterans' graves in Crownsville. Um, and we've, we've adopted uh, soldiers' uh, children around the holidays Beautiful. with gifts. So we give back to the community, too. Yes, um, so, so a person will hear all of that as they walk through the center. And if they have me, oh my goodness, I, I just kind of gleam and um, they say, this is beautiful, this is wonderful. And, and I just say, I remain very humble, but very proud of yes. what we have. And proud you should be. Mm -hmm. You should be because the accomplishments there are just of the highest level, of the Thank highest you. standards. So, and, and the staff, uh, let's, let's give a special shout out to your staff and volunteers. Mm -hmm. And on behalf of the, the Community Outreach Committee and the City of Bowie and all of the residents of Bowie, we thank you and your staff and volunteers for such an outstanding yeah. job that you've been doing throughout the years. And we hope that many, many, many more years you'll continue. Yeah. Thank you. And you deserve all of the accolades that, that, you. Uh, that, you, that you get. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Kathy. Thank you very much. That's <laughs> all right. I joined here about six months before I retired. I retired from the Capitol Hill Police in November 2001. So I joined here sometime in the summer 2001. Because I always wanted a place to exercise. I didn't want to retire and come home and sit. Mm -hmm. This has been a godsend. I really had not only enjoyed the, the activities, but the, the fellowship of the people. There's Pat, she's godsend at the reception. There's Kathy, there's a, a whole regime. It's just a nice environment. And I enjoy the fellowship. I, I intend to certain activities here. They have health fairs here. But like you say, I'm an avid exerciser. So I do it Monday through Friday, five days a week. I enjoy it. I really do enjoy the people. Because if the facility couldn't be as good if the people weren't friendly. My name is uh, James Holloman. My friends here call me Jim. And I've been a member of the center here for almost six years. I uh, originally joined it because my wife started playing pinochle here. They're playing right now, actually, in the other room. Double deck pinochle. And uh, through her coming in for that, I became acquainted with the center. Uh, I got to know the people involved. Everybody's real friendly from the receptionist at the desk. Pat greets you warmly, like you were old friends. Uh, and you will be. You become old friends. But uh, yes, through the years here, I have used the fitness room. That was my original intent upon coming to the senior center for me. Uh, some of the classes we take here are <clears throat> the literature. And right now there's a class upon trains, international trains, and we take some that are, well, it's called critical thinking, self-awareness, uh, and they have been kind of interesting and informative, but they deal with how you deal with the second half of your life. So I had worked, you know, all throughout my life, and then I ran into some difficulties, and uh, I was no longer working, and the center here actually fills a great deal of time on my part, but it also gives me a great deal of physical exercise, 
uh, personal enjoyment. Uh, the classes are informative. Uh, I'm not saying that I, I'm getting super smart from the classes, but I'm getting entertainment, and that's a big value there also. And of course, I'm reading a lot more literature than I did before, and that's, eh, it's okay with me. I'm not real big on books, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a good class, and when you come into the class after you read some of the, like the short stories she hands out one week to be discussed the next week, I never see, or by reading the stories, I don't see all that the stories are supposed to represent, which when you come to class, the instructor then goes over with you and you see that, oh, when I read that, I didn't get that this was supposed to mean that. So when the whole class is discussing this, it's a really uh, enjoyable experience because you're hearing not just what the instructor has to say, but what all the other people did or didn't read into the actual words that they read. So again, it's, it's in a literature class, but it's, it's a fun literature class. And as long as something is fun, you will come back, you will do it, as long as it's fun, you enjoy it. And that's basically my experiences here at the Bowie Senior Center, is that, yes, I started off because I was interested in the physical activities, but we have spent more time here and we do take classes. My wife and I have been in the bocce ball tournament once or twice. We actually entered into the shuffleboard tournament once or twice. <coughs> We're not real good. We didn't get real far, but again, we had fun, and we met more people here that we hadn't met before. So it's more and more meeting people and uh, just enjoying the time that you're spending with the different people in the different activities. Okay. Um, when I was 59, um, I had gone through... A time in my life that was stressful and um, almost became housebound and someone had suggested that I join the senior center because they had a corral and I used to sing when I was young so I joined the corral and from there I just blossomed I became who I used to be before this stressful time and um, really kind of saved me um, I've done many, many of the different classes. I've become very active in the corral, and I sing uh, not only in the corral, but with the Corlears, which is a, a smaller group. And I got involved in making jewelry and um, have spent travel time learning how to do special things um, that my instructor here at the Senior Center has started me on, and so that has really filled my time. And dance um, classes and art classes and and it's really become a second home to me in fact I call it home sometimes <laughs> but on top of all of that I've met so many people and I actually now have very good close friends people that I've met here and in, in different classes and it goes beyond the senior center we spend time outside the senior center and um, it's, it's, it's a life, it, 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 but it's not just here. It grows and becomes part of everything that's, that's part of your life. And I appreciate it very much. Well, it's, it's a place to go. Mm -hmm. It's a place to go for, to socialize and be with people. It's a place to go to be able to take trips and go and... and um, well, that's sort of the kickoff. <clears throat> and uh, get back into singing again at the corral. Uh, I'm also doing, I uh, help with the diabetic support group and I'd also take blood pressures once a month. So, uh, but, uh, but the trips are, are the, the trips I like and I, I'm, I'm, I pick out the ones I want to go to. But we go to a lot of the museums and uh, we go to, uh, but some of the neatest ones are some of the local ones that they schedule. But this has helped me maintain the kind of trips that I used to go on with a family, okay. which now I don't have to worry about getting there. I'm taken to the door, <laughs> and, then I, and then I'm uh, picked up at the door. And so it makes it very easy to, saves a lot of energy, not having to go on Metro or not driving. 
Oh, it has had a tremendous influence on my daily life. I feel like finding the Bowie Senior Center was like finding a pot of gold. Uh, when I came, everyone was so warm and I felt relaxed. Uh, I was at the point where I was a new retiree and I was searching for some place to go. You know, after you retire, you're kind of left in limbo. So I, one of the things on my, uh, my list to do was to do memoirs. So I came here searching for a memoirs class. And of course, I found much more than that. Uh, there are so many activities here, and it helped me make a transition into my second half of life. Uh, it really did. The activities were what I needed them to be with the type of lifestyle that I wanted. Uh, there's the fitness center that I enjoy tremendously. Uh, I was introduced to it by Mark and uh, he showed me about all of the equipment. And as a result of that, I have become a Maryland Senior Olympic Champion in table tennis. So you'll find me playing table tennis and in the fitness center a lot. There are a number of people that I have met here uh, since I've started coming. Uh, great people. Uh, you know, when you retire, you tend to leave a lot of your associates behind. But coming here, you meet a whole new group of people that have had great professions. And it's not all about who they were. It's about who they are now. And the, the thing that uh, sort of co coordinates us, uh, makes us uh, bind together, is that we're just all senior citizens. And also, one of the big things for me here at the center is that I like to be of service. And the center has given me the opportunity to serve on the Bowie uh, Senior Advisory Board. So I'm dedicated to supporting uh, the fabulous staff that they have here and the talent that they have here and making sure that the center continues to be the premier center that it is. Mm -hmm. uh, I am Gloria Gaddy. Uh, I am the Information and Referral Specialist at the Bowie Senior Center. and. Um, my responsibilities are making sure that resources and information is gathered and that's for every source of information or resource that a senior might be interested in and I make it available to the seniors. I have a, a wonderful office where there is um, a wall of information and resources that's made available six days a week. My hours are Monday through Friday between the hours of 10 and 2 p.m. And this allows a senior to call in or come in and see me where they may be able to uh, select the different services that they may be in need of. So the services are there available at all times to the seniors and their family and to the community. In lieu of having the information available, I have developed two programs. One is called a fireside chat. That's once a month. And I actually go out into the center itself, into the large community room, and I, the different topics that address the seniors, especially the everyday type of uh, events that are happening in our lives, such as being informed about taxes, being informed about Social Security and those type of things, in a very fun way. I address that with the seniors. I have an attendance of a crowd for the fireside chat, sometimes as much as 35 or 40 seniors that attend that. And it, it came to my mind that this was wonderful. However, a lot of the seniors were not really capable of taking this information to the family. So I developed a program called Hot Topics. And the Hot Topics were held in the evenings once a month between the hours of 5.45 and 6.45. And they're extensive because I've invited professionals in the field of the area of the topic to come in. If we're going to talk about healthcare services being more than just services, then a healthcare provider would come. And that uh, healthcare provider would make the presentation. So this has been really successful and now I am ready to go on the road with the hot topics because the need is so great that sometimes seniors are still not able or don't understand what we have available in the center. So the communities such as independent living facilities will be going on the road 
and I'll be taking those topics to the centers and making sure that the community and the family is always invited. This is always open to the public because in order for our seniors to get the help that they need and to be able to live a wonderful health style and be healthy as they live and age in place and live longer, it takes everyone to be involved. So I have compiled all of this and annually I, I compose an information fair and this is huge. I have three days of powerful information, two days of panel discussion, and then on the final day, a vendor show. And it is huge. Uh, the vendor show uh, brings in over 35 vendors from all over, professionals again, in all the areas that the seniors are interested in or need information and resources. And on that day, we receive traffic into the senior center of over 200 people. In the area of services and resources that we have available, it includes the areas of health care, companionship, finances, housing, transportation, um, health insurance, uh, and much more. So um, this is what I do at the Senior Center. been here for six years, and hopefully I'll be here much longer. My name is Mark Shields. I'm the uh, wellness coordinator here at the Bowie Senior Center. And I guess I, I look at myself as a, a, a source of information for the seniors here as, uh, as far as it relates to health and wellness. So when they have questions on nutrition or exercise, uh, they come see me. Um, I'm here for them to you know, discuss uh, how they can lead a healthier lifestyle. Uh, if they have questions on which classes might be best suited for them. Uh, sometimes I have seniors that come in who've never been active before. They may have some disabilities. So they're looking to see which type of classes are best fit for them. Uh, I have other seniors that come in who are highly active, and then they're looking for which type of classes uh, would be best for them as well. Uh, so we have varying different types of classes here as far as yoga, Pilates, uh, walk aerobics, Zumba. We have a, a fully equipped fitness center that I give orientations for just to make sure that the seniors can use it safely and they feel comfortable with it. Uh, I teach some nutrition classes here as well trying to get the seniors to improve their dietary habits to help them reach their goals. Hi, so I'm Judy Lorenz and I'm a program assistant for the Bowie Senior Center. And I've been at the center for about seven years now and my primary responsibility is to be the trip coordinator. And so when folks come in and they get their orientation to the center, one of the things that they pick up is a trip brochure. And we have all different types of trips that we go on. There's museums, we go to dinner theaters, um, lunch bunches, and that's for uh, folks who are here at the center often but don't get a chance to get out as much. And so that's a trip to usually we go to local restaurants um, in Bowie. Most of them are in Bowie, but we also go to up in the Crofton area um, for the lunches also. And then um, the other trip at the Bowie Center, one of the most popular trips, is to go to the slots. And uh, so that's their interest or their you know, excitement for the month, and that's what they do. There are other people who like to do the museums. And so we go to the DC museums. And sometimes we have a guided tour. The one coming up in, at the end of July is, uh, has uh, been arranged because I've had many requests, and that's to go to the Winterthur Museum in Delaware and they are going to have a special exhibit for the Downton Abbey costumes. And so we have a lot of folks who follow that show and are interested in that. And of course they'll get a tour of the gardens on site and there's a historical house. So that will be a guided tour. Sometimes we go down to the Smithsonian in Washington and we get dropped off by one particular museum that might be having a special exhibit, but there are folks who might not want to go to that exhibit, and, but they're just off and go wherever they want to go on the mall for that day. So they'll go down you know, a couple of blocks to uh, the National uh, Space Museum, if that's their interest. So uh, it's, it's really geared to whatever the, the people are wanting to do. Um, in September, we're also going to Hershey Park. This is a repeat trip. We went on it about two years ago to the Hershey Story Museum and the gardens. And there's a um, beautiful uh, Hershey Hotel, and there's a lovely circular dining room. And it was very, it was really beautiful, and it was a buffet, but um, pretty upscale, so that was a nice one to go to. 
And so we try to uh, go to some local trips each month. Um, we went to Montpelier Mansion in Laurel. We had these little hidden treasures all around uh, the area. And uh, so it's kind of interesting to go to these places and, and see the rich history that's local mm -hmm. and, uh, and appreciate that and then go to another uh, local restaurant sometimes. Um, going to Bowie Bay Sox, Washington Nationals, going to see Lion King at Kennedy Center. So a lot of the trips I arrange based on requests that come in, suggestions, but the trips are planned three to six months in advance. So someone who comes to me with a suggestion of an exhibit at a museum that's going to be here through you know, next, next month, June, my trips are already planned through uh, August. So I have to, I try and follow up on the suggestions, but we have to keep that in mind when, when people are giving me their ideas. Hi, my name is Laurel Raymond. I'm the assistant manager at the Bowie Senior Center. Well, I do a lot of the programming here at the center, all the, so I work closely with all of the instructors, um, finding locations for their classes and helping to choose what programs and services we have here at the center, and then finding locations for them here, which is actually a challenge because we have so many classes and teachers and programs that um, oftentimes it's challenging to find a room and a space for everybody, but we do it well and the building is well used. Um, I also oversee a dynamic team of about 150 volunteers here at the center, so we're very fortunate in that respect. They uh, do a lot to support all the programming and services that we um, provide each day. Uh, the staff really depends on them. First thing in the morning, we have a volunteer that comes and starts coffee so that we offer a coffee service and folks can come in and get coffee or tea and have a muffin and visit with friends and that gets the day started. And then throughout the day, they help to um, do many different um, services throughout the center, providing programming, um, sometimes bringing a program to us and actually teaching a class or assisting with it. We also help with some of our outside activities. We have a bocce ball court and they not only coordinate the tournament but also maintain the court outside and we have a wonderful labyrinth and we often will have a special program on the labyrinth um, to enjoy the beauty and peace and serenity and to regain our, um, our spiritual um, self. Also, they help at the front desk and do many other things. When you sit back from uh, and look at it from the outside, it's amazing. Um, I, said, I, could, I couldn't be more proud of the people here. Couldn't be more proud of the, the building. And I really couldn't be more proud of the staff here. I mean, they just do an incredible job. Um, like I say, the people here took the brick and mortar and turned it into a, sta a facility. The staff here just just takes ideas and turns them into people service mm -hmm. programs and um, you see it's a treasure. Yeah. Uh, I just like I say I just feel sorry for people who don't live in Bowie. <laughs> Tell them, my big brag is Bowie is the strongest, most diverse, most family friendly community in the region. And this is just an example of it. Uh, I'm just proud to call this place part of Bowie. Uh, a lot of people worked hard to get it done. A lot of people worked hard to animate it into the uh, incredible facility that it is. And the future here is just limited by our imagination. What we'd like to do is just a matter of just finding what we want to do and then find a way to get there. Uh, so if I have one bit of advice to anybody that lives in Bowie that's over 55, if you haven't been here, you don't know what you're missing. Come on down.